Hello everyone, this is Vitek Precious Tom here. Welcome to Vitek Product Introduction Channel. Today I would like to introduce Vitek Wireless Long Range Transmitter for CCTV. For short, it's called CPE. When you want to build a CCTV system between two places up to 1 to 5 kilometers, the CPE can help you to solve this issue. Here we have a pair of CPE. Its model is WI-CP800-K. This is an outdoor wireless transmitter. The radio frequency is 5 GHz. Wireless speed is 867 megabits per second. And the long range is up to 5 km. We can see, in addition to the QIG, the other main components are in pairs, injectors, AC, Ethernet cables, hoops, and CPE. What I'm holding here is WI-CPE800. On the back panel include power indicator, Ethernet port indicator, system indicator, and wireless signal strength indicators. This is a label with the factory information, device name, device model, PoE-in, default password and IP address. On the bottom, we can see the mega address and the serial number of the device. Look inside, there are reset button, DC port and the LAN port. Ok, this is the unpacking process of WI-CP800. Next, let's look at how to configure it. This is a point-to-point -point topology of the CP800 application scenario. Now we will follow the topology to simulate. Here we are in front of the demonstration board. You can see the CP face each other directly with no obstacles between. The CP can create an exclusive wireless channel between two endpoints and only authorized devices can access and reduce the traffic passing through the CPE. The signal cannot be easily interfered and the bandwidth waste can be efficiently reduced. Let's do the whole connection together from the beginning. First, I'm going to use short patch coder to connect the NVR LAN port to the uplink port. And connect port 1 to the right CP LAN port. You can see the indicators are on. The more signal you get, the stronger signal you have. So you can always check for your signal offer here. Next, we connect the left CP LAN port to the port 4 of the outdoor waterproof PoE switch. and connect port 3 to the PoE splitter. We should use the PoE splitter due to the long PoE IP camera. Now the whole setup is done. It's pretty simple. The CV has finished the pairing and the video has been displayed on the LCD screen of the NVR. This is a demonstration of our complete surveillance project. The CV can connect two local heroes networks through wireless signals. We have explained how to configure our CPE. Next, I will share two typical application scenarios of CPE. The first scenario, which we just simulated, is the point-to-point -point connection between the warehouse and the office building. Our CP800 can transmit the surveillance video data of the warehouse to the office building up to 5 kilometers away by wireless signal. Next is our point-to-multiple application scenario. We can see two warehouses outside, the civilian center and the homes of office workers. We need to transmit data from IP cameras and IPs at these locations to the data center. Our CP800 can be used in both CCTV and WLAN projects. The factory default configurations of CP800 offers a plug and play for point-to-point -point connection. If you need to use the point-to-multiple connection mode, we need to log in the web configuration interface through the default IP address of CPE. 
Above is our content share today. If you have any questions or want to know more details, welcome to contact us through the email. And the website as below. Thanks for your watching. See you next time. Bye.